While most countries are happy to roll out the red carpet for visitors from the U.S., there are a few spots that aren't exactly rolling out the welcome mat. Whether it's due to political tensions, strict visa requirements, or other reasons, some destinations can be tricky for American tourists. So, let's dive into our list of the top 10 countries where Americans are not welcome. We'll explore why these places made the cut and what factors keep them on this list. From North Korea's stringent travel advisories to Venezuela's complex political climate, each country has its own unique reasons for being less than hospitable to American visitors. Number 10. North Korea North Korea has always been a difficult place for Americans to visit. The Korean War, which ended in an armistice rather than a peace treaty, left North and South Korea technically still at war. Over the years, the relationship between North Korea and the United States has been filled with tension and hostility. The U.S. government has labeled North Korea as a state sponsor of terrorism and has imposed strict sanctions on the country, further straining relations. In recent times, North Korea has continued to develop its nuclear and missile programs, leading to even more sanctions and diplomatic isolation. The regime of Kim Jong-un is very suspicious of American intentions. Because of this, the North Korean government makes it very hard for Americans to travel there. They often cite security concerns as the reason. Getting a visa to North Korea is nearly impossible without special permission, which is usually only granted for humanitarian or diplomatic missions. The U.S. Department of State has repeatedly issued travel advisories warning citizens about the severe consequences of unauthorized travel, including arrest and long-term imprisonment. In addition to these restrictions, the U.S. government cannot provide emergency services to its citizens in North Korea because there are no diplomatic or consular relations between the two countries. Sweden acts as the protecting power for the United States in North Korea, but even Swedish officials often face delays or denials when trying to access detained U.S. citizens. This makes any travel to North Korea extremely risky for Americans. Number 9. Iran the relationship between the United States and Iran has been tense since the 1979 Iranian Revolution, which led to the overthrow of the U.S.-backed Shah and the establishment of the Islamic Republic. The subsequent hostage crisis, where 52 American diplomats were held for 444 days, left a lasting scar on the relationship between the two countries. Under the leadership of Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Iran has pursued policies that often clash with American interests in the Middle East. The U.S. withdrawal from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA, in 2018 and the re-imposition of sanctions have made things even worse. Iran's support for regional groups opposed to U.S. allies further complicates relations. Iranian authorities have a history of detaining Americans on charges of espionage and other national security offenses. The U.S. Department of State has a standing travel advisory against all travel to Iran due to the risk of arbitrary arrest and detention. While some Americans still travel to Iran, especially for academic or humanitarian purposes, the risks remain significant. Moreover, the strained relations have led to a lack of diplomatic channels to resolve issues quickly. Switzerland serves as the protecting power for the United States in Iran but this arrangement offers limited assistance. The complex political landscape and ongoing tensions make Iran a highly risky destination for American travelers. Number 8. Afghanistan Afghanistan, located at the crossroads of Central and South Asia, has a complicated and tumultuous history. The current situation in the country makes it a very inhospitable place for American travelers. In August 2021, the Taliban regained control of Afghanistan following the withdrawal of U.S. and NATO forces. The Taliban's strict interpretation of Islamic law and their history of hostility towards Western influences have created an environment where Americans are particularly unwelcome. Afghanistan remains a hotspot for terrorist activities, with groups like ISIS-K posing significant threats. The possibility of attacks, kidnappings, and other forms of violence is very high making it an unsafe destination for Americans. The Taliban's return to power has raised serious concerns about human rights violations, especially regarding women's rights and freedom of expression. The oppressive regime has led to widespread fear and instability, 
deterring not only American travelers but also the international community from visiting Afghanistan. The U.S. Department of State has issued severe travel warnings advising American citizens against all travel to Afghanistan. The lack of a functioning U.S. Embassy in Kabul further complicates any potential travel plans, as consular support is extremely limited. The deteriorating humanitarian crisis and economic upheavals have only added to the country's vulnerabilities, making it a highly dangerous place for Americans to visit. Number 7. Russia the relationship between the United States and Russia has been fraught with tension, even after the end of the Cold War. Despite the dissolution of the Soviet Union, several issues have kept the two nations at odds. One major point of contention is NATO's expansion, which Russia views as a direct threat to its security. Additionally, conflicts in Ukraine and Syria have further strained relations. Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 and its military involvement in eastern Ukraine led to significant sanctions from the U.S. and its allies. These actions were seen as violations of international law and sovereignty, prompting a strong response from the West. Moreover, accusations of Russian interference in the 2016 and 2020 U.S. elections have exacerbated the already tense relationship. The U.S. government has accused Russia of using cyber tactics to influence the outcomes of these elections, thereby undermining American democracy. This has led to a series of retaliatory measures, including sanctions and diplomatic expulsions. For Americans traveling to Russia, the situation is increasingly precarious. The Russian government has detained U.S. citizens on espionage charges, often without clear evidence. Travel advisories from the U.S. State Department highlight the risks of arbitrary enforcement of local laws and potential harassment by Russian authorities. These advisories strongly recommend that Americans avoid travel to Russia due to the heightened risks involved. Number 6. Syria Syria has been embroiled in a brutal civil war since 2011, with various factions vying for control. The U.S. has been actively involved in the conflict supporting different rebel groups and conducting airstrikes against ISIS and occasionally Syrian government targets. The Assad regime, backed by Russia and Iran, views the U.S. as an adversary. Recent developments have seen the Assad regime regain control over much of Syria, thanks to the support of Russian and Iranian forces. The humanitarian crisis in Syria is dire, with ongoing violence and political instability making it one of the most dangerous places in the world. The U.S. maintains sanctions against the Assad regime and supports efforts to hold it accountable for war crimes. Travel to Syria is highly discouraged by the U.S. government due to the extreme risks involved. Americans face a high risk of kidnapping, arbitrary detention, and death due to the ongoing conflict and terrorist activity. The U.S. Embassy in Damascus suspended operations in 2012, and consular assistance is virtually non-existent. Number 5. Saudi Arabia While Saudi Arabia is not explicitly unwelcoming to Americans, it poses significant cultural and legal challenges for American visitors. The kingdom follows a strict interpretation of Islamic law, which can be drastically different from American norms. Issues such as gender segregation, dress codes, and restrictions on religious practices can be difficult for Americans to navigate. Visitors must be mindful of the country's stringent laws as violations that may seem minor by American standards, such as public displays of affection, consumption of alcohol, or critical comments about the government or religion, can lead to severe penalties, including imprisonment or corporal punishment. The U.S. State Department advises caution due to the risk of arbitrary detention and the lack of due process. While Saudi Arabia is a close ally of the United States, the general public's perception of Americans can be mixed. Some Saudis are wary of American influence on their culture and society, fearing it may erode traditional values. Additionally, the complex geopolitics of the Middle East, including U.S. policies towards Israel and various regional conflicts, contribute to a cautious or even negative attitude towards Americans. Number 4. Somalia Somalia is one of the most perilous places on Earth, primarily due to its ongoing civil war, the presence of terrorist organizations like al-Shabaab, and the absence of a stable government. 
The U.S. government has a very limited diplomatic presence in Somalia, and the State Department strongly advises against any travel to the country because of the extreme risks of kidnapping, violence, and terrorism. The security situation in Somalia is inherently hostile towards foreigners, including Americans. Al-Shabaab has specifically targeted Americans and Westerners in the past, making any American presence in the region a magnet for unwanted attention and increasing the risk of being singled out for attacks or abduction. The humanitarian crisis in Somalia, marked by famine, displacement, and a lack of basic services, further complicates travel. These dire conditions mean that even well-intentioned visits for humanitarian purposes can be fraught with danger. The combination of active conflict, criminal activity, and severe poverty creates an environment where Americans are particularly vulnerable. Additionally, the lack of medical facilities and emergency response services makes it extremely difficult to get help if something goes wrong. Pirates are also active in the waters off the Horn of Africa especially near Puntland, adding another layer of risk for those considering maritime travel. Moreover, the U.S. government has extremely limited ability to assist U.S. citizens in Somalia because there is no permanent consular officer in the country, including the Somaliland region. If a traveler's passport is lost, stolen, or expires, or if the traveler becomes destitute, the U.S. government may be unable to provide assistance. Some schools and other facilities act as rehabilitation centers and de-westernization camps existing throughout Somalia with little or no licensing and oversight. Reports of physical abuse are common, and people often report being held against their will in these facilities. In addition to these challenges, there are frequent reports of U.S. citizens who have their passports taken by family members, leaving them unable to depart Somalia. This often occurs when U.S. citizens travel to Somalia to visit family or attend an event. Some adult U.S. citizens are then unable to leave the international airport without explicit consent from their family. Terrorists continue to plot kidnappings, bombings, and other attacks in Somalia. They may attack with little or no warning, targeting airports, seaports, and government buildings. Terrorists also target hotels, restaurants, shopping areas, and other places that attract large crowds and tourists. Government, military, and other convoys, including those carrying tourists, are also targets. Methods of attack can include car bombs, suicide bombers, individual attackers, and rocket fire, among others. While some areas have experienced less severe terrorist activity, such as the Somaliland region, terrorist attacks involving the indiscriminate use of explosive devices and other weapons can take place anywhere in Somalia at any time without warning. The U.S. Embassy imposes strict limits on employee movement in Mogadishu based on the critical threat environment. Civil unrest, including protests and demonstrations, occurs throughout Somalia and can sometimes be violent. Medical facilities in Somalia have limited capacity and are often absent in rural areas. Pirates are active in the waters off the Horn of Africa, especially off the coast of Puntland. Due to risks to civil aviation operating within or in the vicinity of Somalia, the Federal Aviation Administration has issued a special Federal Aviation Regulation. For more information, U.S. citizens should consult the Federal Aviation Administration's prohibitions, restrictions, and notices. If you decide to travel to Somalia, it is crucial to review your personal security plan and visit the State Department's page on travel to high-risk areas. Make a plan to exit Somalia if the situation gets worse. Identify multiple options for leaving Somalia and know the entry requirements for U.S. citizens into neighboring countries. Avoid sailing near the coast of Somalia and review the live piracy report published by the International Maritime Bureau. Draft a will and designate appropriate insurance beneficiaries and or power of attorney. Discuss a plan with loved ones regarding care, custody of children, pets, property, belongings, non-liquid asset, funeral wishes, etc. Share important documents, login information, and points of contact with loved ones so that they can manage your affairs if you are unable to return as planned to the United States. Find a suggested list of such documents here.
Make your own personal security plan with your employer or host organization, or consider consulting with a professional security organization. Develop a communication plan with family and or your employer or host organization, if you are traveling on business, so that they can monitor your safety and location as you travel through high-risk areas. This plan should specify whom you would contact first and how that person should share the information. Identify key sources of possible assistance for you and your family in case of emergency, such as your employer, if traveling on business, and local friends, family, as well as friends, family outside Somalia. Appoint one family member to be the point of contact with hostage takers and media. Appoint a family member to be the contact for the U.S. and host country government agencies and members of Congress if you are taken hostage or detained. Discuss a proof of life protocol with your loved ones so that if you are taken hostage, your loved ones can know specific questions and answers to ask the hostage takers to be sure that you are alive and to rule out a scam. Leave DNA samples with your medical provider in case it is necessary for your family to access them. Erase any sensitive photos, comments, or other materials from your social media pages, cameras, laptops, and other electronic devices. These could be considered controversial or provocative by local groups. Leave your expensive, sentimental belongings behind. Enroll your trip in the State Department's Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. Follow the Department of State on Facebook and X. Review the country security report for Somalia. Prepare a contingency plan for emergency situations. Review the traveler's checklist. Visit the CDC page for the latest travel health information related to your travel. Number 3. Libya Libya, a North African nation steeped in history and culture, has been mired in turmoil since the 2011 civil war that ousted Muammar Gaddafi. The country has struggled to find stability, with various militias and factions vying for control. This ongoing conflict has created an environment of extreme volatility, making it particularly dangerous for travelers, especially Westerners who may be targeted for kidnapping or violence. The presence of extremist groups like ISIS further exacerbates the situation, posing significant safety risks. The relationship between Libya and the United States has been fraught with tension for years. A notable low point was the 2012 attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, which resulted in the deaths of the American ambassador and three other Americans. This incident severely damaged diplomatic ties, although the U.S. has continued to support efforts for peace and stability in Libya. Despite these efforts, the political climate remains hostile, rendering the country unsafe and unwelcoming for American visitors. The U.S. Department of State consistently issues travel advisories against visiting Libya, citing risks such as crime, terrorism, civil unrest, and armed conflict. Consequently, American travelers are strongly discouraged from visiting, and those who do may find it challenging to navigate the country's precarious security situation. Adding to the complexity, Libya's criminal justice system is weak, with judges, prosecutors, and lawyers often at risk of harassment and attacks by armed groups. Military courts continue to try civilians, and many detainees face prolonged detention without trial in inhumane conditions. The country also grapples with the remnants of past conflicts, including unexploded ordnance which poses additional risks to residents and aid workers. Despite a ceasefire agreement in 2020, foreign military forces and private security companies remain present, further complicating the path to stability. Number 2. Venezuela Venezuela's relationship with the United States has been tumultuous, particularly since Hugo Chavez rose to power in the late 1990s. Chavez's anti-American rhetoric and policies aimed at reducing U.S. influence in Latin America set the stage for strained relations, a trend that continued under his successor, Nicolas Maduro. The U.S. government does not recognize Maduro as the legitimate president of Venezuela, instead supporting opposition leader Juan Guaido. Economic sanctions and political pressure from the U.S. have further deteriorated bilateral relations, with the Venezuelan government accusing the U.S. of interference and plots to overthrow the regime. Americans visiting Venezuela face numerous challenges, including a high risk of crime, political violence, and arbitrary detention. The Venezuelan government has detained U.S. citizens on charges of espionage and other offenses 
often without transparent legal processes. The U.S. Department of State advises against all travel to Venezuela due to these risks. The economic situation in Venezuela is dire, characterized by high inflation, state intervention, and widespread corruption, making it an extremely challenging environment for both locals and foreigners. Despite these challenges, the United States continues to provide humanitarian assistance to Venezuelans affected by severe shortages of food, health care, and other essential services. Since 2017, the U.S. has provided nearly $3.7 billion in aid to support Venezuelans inside the country and throughout the region. However, this assistance is subject to restrictions and the Venezuelan government's failure to meet international standards for drug control and human trafficking elimination further complicates the situation. Number 1. Bhutan Bhutan, a small Himalayan kingdom renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and unique approach to measuring prosperity through gross national happiness, presents significant barriers to American travelers. Unlike most countries, Bhutan has a policy of high-value, low-impact tourism aimed at preserving its culture and environment. This policy involves a daily tariff for visitors, which can be prohibitively expensive for many travelers. While this policy applies to all tourists, Americans accustomed to more open travel policies might find it particularly restrictive. The U.S. does not have an embassy in Bhutan, and diplomatic relations are conducted through the embassy in India. This indirect relationship can make it more challenging for American travelers to navigate visa requirements and obtain necessary support during their visit. Bhutan places a strong emphasis on preserving its traditional culture and values, and tourists are expected to adhere to strict guidelines, including dress codes and behavior standards. Any breach of these expectations can lead to a negative reception, making it crucial for visitors to be extremely mindful of local customs. Despite these challenges, Bhutan offers a unique and enriching travel experience. The country's commitment to environmental conservation and cultural preservation provides a rare opportunity to witness a society that prioritizes well-being over material wealth. For those willing to navigate the complexities of travel to Bhutan, the rewards are immense, offering a glimpse into a way of life that is increasingly rare in today's fast-paced world. And there you have it. These 10 countries have their own set of reasons for being less welcoming to Americans, whether it's due to political issues, safety concerns, or complicated visa processes. It's always important to stay informed and cautious when planning your travels. Remember, while these places might be off-limits for now, the world is full of amazing destinations just waiting to be explored. Safe travels, everyone! If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye-bye!